Hello, today I want to talk about uh, bulk sheets and uh, bulk operations in Amazon advertising, uh, particularly about using a uh, spreadsheet for creating outer campaigns. Um, in new formats, some functionalities has been taken away, uh, like you can see it here. It says that we don't have to put um, any targeting uh, when we are creating our campaign using a spreadsheet but uh, what it means we cannot use it so <laughs> they word it in a way like they do it in our favor but um, in my opinion uh, they are taking some functionalities away from us uh, in new format that's why i was working on updating um, the legacy spreadsheet creator and here it is um, you will be able to download uh, this um, file. Um, I'll put, put a link in first comment under this video. So um, the update is, well, I'll walk you through from beginning to the end. Uh, here you can enable or pause this campaign. Uh, you can make um, a title here, auto and let's say, Christmas. Um, over here it's your daily budget so let's say 11. Here you can paste a portfolio number. Remember it has to be number it cannot be portfolio name and um, if you want to get your portfolio numbers you need to go to the um, book operations and download uh, any report and when you download it you will have this uh, portfolios tab in your report filled in and over here you will see um, the portfolio um, record ID which is the number and portfolio name so you need to copy this number and paste the number here so your ads will be placed in um, correct portfolio here you have um, uh, bids adjustments uh, top of search and product pages you can either leave it zero either put whatever you want uh, here you have uh, bidding down only fixed bids bidding down is um, most common and here you paste in your ASIN and um, on the right hand side you see the uh, full title is created meaning um, it compiles whatever you've put in here then it adds an ASIN number and then it adds your date and then it adds your targeting uh, which was chosen and here is the most important part you have to fill in this group level um, bidding um, this is the um, bidding at, at group level the default one so you have to place something in here and uh, then you are choosing which um, targeting to you want to set up ads and the update is here now um, it can create one campaign with whatever targeting you have chosen as you can see uh, it set up uh, 20 cents um, let's set it to I don't know 50 so it will be the bigger difference and you can see clearly so it has set up the bids that we wanted and then because we have set up bids it enabled uh, these two targetings and these two are empty so they will be passed so this way you can create um, one campaign with uh, whichever targeting you can uh, do. And why it's useful? Well, uh, instead of setting four separate campaigns, you can set up two campaigns. Uh, close match and loose match are targeting uh, keywords and substitutes and complements are targeting ACEs. So it would be handy if uh, we can set up um, as like this. So that's the way. And as you can see, it creates the uh, campaign title based on the uh, 
whatever uh, targeting we have chosen. So if I'll put this here, Uh, automatically the targeting part of the campaign name has changed and now if you want to create uh, each campaign separately uh, this is the part where it happens so as you can see it creates only um, substitutes and complements and in substitutes only the substitutes are enabled the rest of it is past and here is complements enabled uh, why i did it this way because it's really handy to put it like that and have uh, all all the campaigns created at once so now i have uh, four campaigns and when i copy it here let's make an example Boom, in a one way, we have four campaigns created and each target separate um, uh, targeting. And uh, here will be another example. Let's do a mixed one. So obviously, uh, let's delete that. And if I do a mixed one, I can do, let's say that. And now I have one campaign with two targetings enabled and two passed. So this is the, this is the update that before it was a lot of manual work anyway, copy paste, copy paste. Now if I want to have all four targeting separate and uh, I can just go here and copy these four and uh, we have four campaigns really easy created really easy another update is adding negative keywords so let's say um yeah let's clean this up let's say i want to target everything and i want to have some keywords and uh, negative um, them in the outer campaign when i create this uh, over here we have to choose uh, maybe I will right I will select a different color for it right so here we have to choose what campaign we are wanting to negative it because as you can see each campaign has different titles so we need to select which campaign this uh, negatives will be for so um, let's say all in one so it means this first one so if I want to create this campaign I would copy this and I'm um, sorry and go to here this creates campaign and targetings then uh, when we scroll down I can copy this and see that because I have chosen all uh, it's creating this campaign negatives so I can paste it here and as you can see all matches up and if for example we have chosen wrong one let's say substitutes you see it has changed the campaign names and that's why if you would paste it here and upload it like that it would uh, sorry let's do this um, if you would create it like that um, it would give you an error if you uploaded this file because um, campaign name doesn't match so um, of course you can um, well, let's say we wanted to have individual campaign so I could grab this one, these two, let's say, and paste them here. So now we have two campaigns and different titles. 
So to do it next, it's a close match and loose match. So I would have to choose here a close match first. Uh, go to our negative keywords and paste it here and then change it to loose match and duplicate it, copy and paste it here. As you can see now we have a negatives for close match and negatives for uh, loose match. The order doesn't matter, only what matters is the campaign and ad group names have to match what you have in the uh, rest of the campaign creation so it doesn't matter you can mix and match the, the rows only the namings needs to need to be consistent yeah so that's uh, what i can um say i've added made it simpler to create split campaigns or create it in a multiple targeting but not all you can have let's say uh, free targets whatever you choose but you have the freedom to pause one of your targeting uh, or more or you can have um, four separate campaigns created really easy and you can add negative keywords and what's the difference to new um, spreadsheets basically in new spreadsheets these four rows are not accepted and whenever you will down upload the file with this four rows your bulk file will be rejected the error will come up and uh, none none of the changes will uh, take effect to your um, account uh, what else um, oh, I will also update the link when you can uh, download the file uh, you won't have to do uh, make a copy or whatsoever uh, the link will open um, uh, open up a page where you will be asked to uh, do a copy directly on your uh, Google Drive so um, there's a few steps less for you to make it usable um, I hope you enjoyed and uh, subscribe to my channel. Peace.